What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyt, and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the blue color, playing as Ra, the self-described king of Midgard himself. His name is Kiluminati. His opponent today, in the red color, playing as Zeus, is none other than the uncrowned king of age mythology, the Titans. I say the uncrowned king of age mythology, the Titans, because anytime anyone talks about squash, they say this guy is a madman. He is an insanely good age mythology player. He just doesn't play tournaments. So he, he's uncrowned, but he's the king. The king uncrowned. So you got the king of Midgard, self, self described, and then you have the uncrowned king of age mythology. This could not be. A better matchup, ladies and gentlemen. The map is Midgard. Obviously, because we've got the King of Midgard here playing as Ra, Kaluminati. These sorts of games come around once in a blue moon here. Kaluminati has been on the grind lately, ladies and gentlemen. Every time I open up Twitch without fail, honestly, there's probably like like 30 minutes that have gone by where, where there hasn't been a Kaluminati stream going. He is single-handedly carrying the Age Mythology Twitch category at the moment with his streams um but we'll see how things are going to go for him he is playing as ra he does have a difficult match up here ra versus zeus on midgard personally i quite like the zeus i think that zeus has got a lot of bonuses here that really really help uh there's the bonus of hoplite damage getting the threat of an athena rush even more potent than say a hades athena rush on this sort of a map Taking our abilities. He's also got access to Dionysus, which is a threat of a really, really strong water myth unit. There's also Hera, which not only gives a brutal timing attack to Zeus here, which can end a game on its heels, is that the word? But also the Karkanos, I don't think that's how you say it, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna lock in Karkanos, um, is a myth unit you get for free as well by going Hera, which you can go and send in and um, like delete and blow up a whole bunch of uh, fishing ships, I believe, in one hit. Obviously you have to delete it I and mean, you don't have that unit anyway, but you can go in and kill off a bunch of units with it. It's very, very fun. It's a fun unit. Um, but we'll see how things are gonna go here for Kaluminati. Fishing ships popping out of the docks as he is getting all of his stuff in. Um, one thing that Kaluminati does here with this early game, which is a little bit different than myself, and we'll see if he can manage the 515 advanced time with this, is he goes six wood villagers really, really early. I prefer four wood villagers here, four villagers onto gold, and then the next two villagers onto wood, so that I can get my temple up for that 515. Uh, now, there are other ways to get the temple up. For example, you can put a priest on the temple and get a couple of villages to build it up. There's no problems there. Uh, but we'll see what he's going to do with, with regards to that. The other question is, is what's Squash going to do? Now, Squash here, he has not followed the manual. There is a manual to playing Zeus, playing Greek on Midgard. And he has gone for seven villages on, on wood. And then he sent villages over to food. He's now putting a couple onto wood as well. But the... The um, the manual, so to speak, the manual, so to speak, is ten villages on wood. So four food, ten wood, and then you get yourself out your eighteen twenty one fishing ships and a five fifteen advance. But squash here, he wants to go a little bit quickly. Looks like he's going for a five minute advance. He's going to try and get those fishing ships out anyways with a bit of a bit of a later advance time, and we'll see how things are going to go. Kaluminati here, he's getting that temple up super super late. Still lots of fishing ships out. Um, totally fine. And we'll see how things are going to go. Uh, in the chat, Kaluminati's trying to defend himself. This was not low berries, though. This was not a low... Kaluminati says, if it's low berries, going for six wood is a lot better. All I'm saying is, you're late to the classic lace. That's all I'm saying. Not that it's a big deal. You do get the temple up, and you do get up. 5.30 isn't a bad advance time. I don't mind it. Nice job. Happy days. Squash, on the other hand, he's advancing a little bit earlier. He's only got 12 fishing ships, though. He's only got 12 fishing ships here. And wow. Kluminati has come all the way around here. There's not a whole lot of fish on in this map, actually. 
Squash is kind of struggling to get himself a good amount of fishing ships. Is he still building them? No, he stopped building. He's only at 13. So this is... This is a little bit worrying for Squash, in all honesty. Does he have upgrades in? He's got himself pickaxe. I imagine hand axe is coming through as well. There it is. It's a little bit worrying for Squash because he's just five fishing ships shorter. Is it more than five? He is seven fishing ships shorter than Kluminati is. It's a big, big advantage for Kluminati after all is said and done. Squash hits the Athena there. Five minutes and 17 seconds into the game. Kluminati a little bit later, but it's not going to matter. Playing defense in these sorts of situations is good. The only thing that would have been nicer about getting a slider and faster advance time is you get out 15 seconds earlier per scene, which gives you that little bit more resources. It's not that big of a deal, though. It's really not. Monuments of the Villagers coming up. Houses coming down as well all over the place. Uh, did he get himself shaft mine here straight away? A man after my own heart. Kluminati has been studying... The recorded games, and he has come up with the idea that shaft mine is a really good technology, and you should rush it on this map. But what is Squash doing? Squash, he's building triremes. He's going to be going for that early aggression, trying to make that work here with the uh, with the triremes. And uh, Kaluminati is going to be getting put under the pump, but he is building cabinets out. Cabinets, nice and early, very very good. We do, oop. and Squash. Does lose his Minotaur there to that Sphinx. That's wild. I think the Minotaur should win this fight, but I think maybe Kaluminati started attacking first. Not 100% sure. Anyways. Squash now looking to push forward. He's got 14 villages on food now, so 14 fishing ships it looks like. There are a whole bunch of spots over here that he hasn't gone for. I think that's the big mistake from um, from Squash in this game is to not get those four docks in. Nice micro here from Kaluminati. Paying attention. Nice and quickly here. As the, uh, as the cabinets will pop out, forcing Squash back. And look at the resources in the bank here for Kluminati. He's already got himself basically 800 food. He just needs to get that gold in, and he's going to be completely fine. He's going to go to the Heroic Age. The question is, which god is he going to go for? Do you go Segment? Do you go for Hathor? Whereas, on the other side here, Squash, he is just pumping Trireme. He is trying to overwhelm the water in the Classical Age. And then try and hit a decently fast Heroic Age here behind this. But it's going to be slow. It's going to be slow because Kaluminati, he's, he's already advanced. He's going up through segment. And he's still just defending. He can just retreat back. And I love this not engaging these fights. Just pulling back, garrisoning the fishing ships, taking his time. You don't need to fight this. Uh, you need to put pressure onto the land here. Though. Now, let's take a look at the mini-map. This is a thing here that Kaluminati, he probably could have done a little bit better. And he is starting to do so with the Sphinx. This is why, potentially, Bast is a really good pickup here for raw players on this map. It's for that scouting information. And look at the gold mines. They're all forward right now. If you're playing this situation here as Kaluminati, and you know this... Now, unfortunately, Kluminati doesn't 100% know this just yet. He's about to learn exactly how good this map is for this uh, idea. But you sack the water right now. He's still producing cabinets, but he can stop this at any point here. Uh, and then you just go full send on the land and you go for that gold stuff. Why is that good? Because Squash has invested a ton of resources into the water. Now, this is obviously omniscience here. I'm map hacking. I've got the knowledge here. I can make that happen. Squash here as well. He's been garrisoning fishing ships because Kaluminati is getting the raids on while this is all going on. This is going really, really well for Kaluminati at this point. And look at the gold situation. 1,000 gold left. Squash is at full population on the water. He's not going to be able to defend a big, uh, a big push here on the land here from Kaluminati. As Kaluminati, he's got himself the the scarab, and look at this. Osiris is on the way here for Kaluminati. I'm not sure. I 100% love this, but I think it's going to be a really, really difficult thing to defend. Anyways, the reason why this is a little bit off, um, off is because he doesn't have a Migdol down just yet. If he had a Migdol producing and then clicked up at this point now, he would be able to have units out and be starting to raid. But instead, 
Um, instead, he is advancing uh, a little bit earlier. That's a little bit of a different ordering there. Uh, but we'll see if it's going to matter or not, because Squash at this point, he's putting his military buildings down. Full stables at this moment. Villagers on the favor here. He wants to make Skylar. He's still putting pressure onto these um, fishing spots here. Kaluminati, majority of his units right now, fishing ships are gathering. He's up on this side over here as well. There's only a handful of fishing spots here that are being prevented. As the cabinet's still getting pressure done here. But now we do have Squash. He has got himself the Skylar. And is he building another Skylar? Not just yet. He does have this Hydra, and he can use that Hydra to come and eat some of these deers and get himself those extra heads. But Kaluminati is going to be having himself the brutally strong mummies. And guess what else he can do? Mummy plus Eclipse. He can get a, an Ancestor's Eclipse basically from those mummies here. This is really scary if you're sitting in this position as Squash. We'll see if he can make some magic happen. The problem here for Kaluminati is he just doesn't know where everything is. He sees a storehouse over here. This will give him an inkling that there's something going on there on that location. As the Mythic Age hits, the Osiris, the Citadel gets clicked down. The Mummy pushes forward. The Son of Osiris is in. And the units are going to start getting ready to push in as well. There's also access to an Eclipse here. Now, the next thing here for Squash is... What if he just went through Hera? Lightning Storm, really, really good. Medusa, really, really good. But he's going to be too slow to make that happen as the Kevnets here or the Triremes still searching around. Illuminati is just playing Ring Around the Rosie with these Kevnets. He knows he doesn't need them as the army starts pushing forward. Son of Osiris getting some good damage done onto the Hydra here. Squash does notice this one at the moment. The Mummy is in as well as the units are starting to break through onto that main location. Squash gets himself a second talent center. There's really no reason here for him to have been allowed that, but he gets it nonetheless. Eclipse gets dropped down. The Mummy is in. The Scarab is in, but the Mummy doesn't get any kills there onto the Hippocons. Needs to send that one forward. You get a lot of reduction in um, in re recharge time, I believe, here. Yeah, recharge time is improved on that Eclipse. I'm not sure exactly what it goes to, though. It's definitely not 20 at the moment. Uh, what What is Eclipse? Is it? 50%. So it goes down to 10 seconds for those myth unit special abilities. Absolutely insane. The, uh, the Trireme's still looking for fishing ships uh, kills here as the attacks are coming in. That Scarab there is the biggest scary thing that Kaluminati has on this position as the Chariot Arch is going to start targeting down those heroes here as well. The Mummy is going to come back over here as well and maybe start taking down some of those Hippocons. The Town Center will end up getting taken out here as the fishing ships here. They get garrisoned nicely by Kaluminati. He's paying attention well. And we do see the Town Center does end up falling on that position there. Chariot Arch is trying to push forward, trying to take out some of those units on this position here as well. But the Mummy here will get taken down. Nice play from Squash. He's Trying to defend here as best as he can. Uh, does he have a ceasefire or restoration? He's got himself restoration here. So no real ability to defend after all is said and done. But he's starting to get those units out as well. The problem is he's popped. He's got a whole bunch of archer ships that aren't doing anything. He basically needs to delete here. We also see this rain getting dropped down by Kaluminati to block those god powers of Squash here. Kaluminati doesn't have any farms up. He doesn't need them. He's got food on this position here. He can just eat all that. This is purely for god power blocking. As we see more military buildings getting placed down by Squash. Squash at this point here, he's got plenty of resources in the back, but he's got no population to be spending here. Kaluminati needs to switch on here and go, what is the big important? Important factor in this game gold and he knows where the gold mines are there's one down the bottom there's one over here take a look at Illuminati's perspective he sees the storehouse he sees the storehouse he knows what's going on and while this is happening as well the cabinet raids are continuing from Illuminati here as squash is in a very very dire position we'll see what he can do here as it looks like he's going for... He, he basically looks like he has to be going for the Mythic Age. He's got a thousand food, thousand gold in the bank. But there's no time here as the Siege Towers are coming in. The Hydra is in position to get some good damage done onto this spot here. Uh, and you can see how much damage it is doing. Does it get a killing blow here? I think it does. Does it get a head? No heads. No extra heads. But another Siege Tower will get taken down. The Town Center will be surviving for the time being here. As Illuminati, 121 to 140 population in a fantastic position. Still no raids onto the villagers here from uh, from Illuminati. He is kind of not taking full advantage of his, uh, of his unit comps here at the moment of what he's got. But 
the Scarab taking down the Townsend and the Son of Osiris getting huge amounts of damage. A good micro there from the uh, from from that sea on that siege tower away from the villagers here as the Son of Osiris now going to start taking some heat from the Townsend. I have to pull that one back. Restoration comes in, keeps the, the Hydra alive and gets a little bit of health onto that one. It's got three heads now, but it only gets up to 237 HP as the siege tower returns back on to the. Uh, uh, onto the town center before getting taken down as so many more units are falling and Squash just has got nothing here. He's got so many resources in the bag. He's clicking up through Hera. Is he going to be able to do this? Because Hera is big here because it picks off every one of those chariot archers and gets a huge amount of damage done onto the Son of Osiris as well after all is said and done. But with only 1,000 HP left in that town center and Kaluminati can just roll a catapult in if he so chooses here. But he's going to be sending that Siege Tower through anyways as those uh, Triremes of Squash, they're still sitting just kind of idly by um, on those fishing spots, which just does not matter. He needs population. He's only got six. His villagers are in a really rough position here as well. He's got a ton of villagers up here. I don't know how many he's actually lost in his main base, but he really... Seven idle villagers in the town center here. He can't get them out. Uh, we do see a handful of Hippocon have come through. He does spot that Siege Tower. Going to be defending against that one there nicely. Uh, but... Kaluminati here, he can just start targeting this town center down. That would be a good value here. He's got to be expecting something's going to be coming here. You have to be expecting something. And now the Scarab is coming in. And look at this box formation here from Kaluminati. He gets that Scarab in. It's going to be taking down the town center. You see the villagers trying to repair this one back up. At the moment, there's no temple here for Squash either. So he's not even going to be able to get himself a Medusa on this spot. 75% here for the Mythic Age for Squash as it gets denied here. Basically, it's super close. The villagers trying to repair this one back up and he cannot get that one in. And as the town center falls, Squash immediately clicks the resign button. And the king of Midgard is the king of Midgard continued. He has not been dethroned just yet. Not by the, not by Squash, not by no one. Victory for Kaluminati. But you have to ask this question. And this is the big thing about maps like Midgard. Maps like Anatolia, maps like even Mediterranean, maps like Calm Shores, maps like River Nile, these or Nile Delta, excuse me. These maps, you've really got to have in the back of your mind, gold. What matters more than fish? Gold. What matters more than food? Gold. What matters more than wood? Gold. What matters more than anything in this game? is gold. And if you can notice, your opponent is going, this is a really, really good learning um game here for many many different reasons but this is the big takeaway if you notice your opponent going heavy on the water with triremes or with cabinets or with longboats or with myth units on the water or anything on the water going really really heavy on the water that means they aren't going heavy on the land and if they aren't going heavy on the land that means their gold is going to be in a lot of trouble now one simple situation solution here for Kaluminati without even doing all this uh, trickiness with the Son of Osiris. I think he gave Squash some opportunities here. Squash did not defend this very well, especially if there was potentially a ceasefire in the bank here for Squash to use. But nonetheless, if he got that Migdol out and he'd sent units Thank up you. to this gold mine straight away, if he'd sent units over to this gold mine straight away, and then he hits the hometown center after that, the game is done at. 12 minutes because Squash did not play this strategically sound. That's the takeaway here from this game. To hit those gold mines earlier. That's literally it. Always focus on that first. If you guys enjoyed this one, please consider the follow on Twitch. If you are on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next game.